Hi, and welcome back to That's So Nova. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today, I'm going to be doing a small tutorial on a Georgia Girl stitch pattern. We know if you're a returning subscriber, you know how I feel about Georgia Girl stitch. I have a bad crush on that whole establishment. Her and her husband are amazing. They make great patterns and they do a lot of freebies. So as you guys know that I love to put thank you gifts inside my um, orders, this has been a new one since I've been doing a lot of conventions lately. It is called um, the key, the keychain card wallet. Now this is a free pattern um, that uh, she has given to us and she gave me the permission to do it. You can make this out of leather, vinyl, um, cork, any uh, non-fraying materials. Heck, you could probably do it out of uh, waterproof canvas if you really want to and juice it up a little bit. Now, with this, she uses a 24-line cam snap. With this being said, I have made it with um, the cam snaps, the plastic ones. I did Velcro. I have done buttons. I am going to show you today how to do a riveted magnet. This is a really easy um, project, but I wanted to add something a little bit a flavor to it. So what I did is I cut out the pattern and I am using faux leather. This faux leather is from Sally Tomatoes. It's one of my favorite. It really does look like leather. Um, but instead of having it raw edges inside, like raw on the inside, I decided to use some HTV. So I did some cheetah print HTV and we're going to just use the following material. I'm going, your, the pattern piece gives you a 4D ring. I'm instead going to be using this little baby um, swivel hook that I got from Ohio company, I think. Um, it's like really small. And instead of using vinyl, I'm going to be using this scrap piece of um, interfacing because it just, it works better for me. <laughs> it just, it's one of those little tools that, uh, not interfacing, uh, waterproof canvas. It's one of those little tools that I don't, I think waterproof canvas can be put in practically anything and everything. And I absolutely love it. So I'm cutting it to the size that they recommend, um, uh, in the pattern. And I'm just going to fold it in half on itself so it could be extra strong. I'm going to bring this over to your, to my machine. I'm just going to stitch one stitch down the middle, like a, a little small little row of stitches. And you're probably like, Shinova, this is the smallest I've seen you sew something. Yeah, it gets like that sometimes. So I'm going to trim that up. I'm going to use my uh, thread burner and not catch the house on fire. Just melt the ends and then melt the threads. I'm going to thread my little swivel hook in there and I'm going to put a clip on this for right now while we're writing marks for this. So there are some marks that you're going to want to take and transfer on to your wallet. I'm putting a mark where it's supposed to be and then I'm going to grab a hole puncher and punch two holes. Now, I'm going to use a riveted magnet, um, magnetic snaps. Now, I love these because I just like the look of them. There's like no fuss, no muss, just a nice little rivet. And if I could pull them apart, that's even better. So I'm going to put the female side on the, the ins on the back. So there are two marks that you need to make on the bag and you can use a tandy leather pen, a chalk pencil, whatever you have available and you're going to transfer it because this is where the bag flap is going to go to. So this is going to be how the bag closes. So I want my female side to go be right here. You put the little rivet cap on there and you can uh, cam snap if you have the cam press you can buy just the dies if you don't have the cam press you can get the handheld one like this and 
And I'm going to put my snap on there. And push it down. And the, the magnets are so strong <laughs> that it wants to take the die. So it's fine by me because I'm going to replace this now and put the mel. So just fold it over to the line and just make sure that you're putting the mel in the correct way. If you put it on here, it will be unfortunate. So it needs to go underneath. Put that snap. All right. So we put that aside and it's already ready to go. So we're going to be sewing up the sides. But before I do, I wanted to show you one other trick. Um, I, you know how I love edge painting. So what I like to do is I like to buy these markers. So they're called the real leather markers and they're leather die markers. So between, you can see the little raw edges between the HTV and um, the vinyl. I'm just going to fill it in. Nothing fancy, and it's not going to bleed out. It's not going to stain anything because it's this is what it's supposed to do. Weirdly, I like the smell of these markers, and I can't even smell things half the time because my sinuses are so horrible, <laughs> but it gets it done. And that just gave it a little bit of, oh, when you're giving it, it looks a little bit more like, oh, wow, that's nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to place the hook. You can either have it go to your left or your right. I'm just used to having everything go to my left. So I'm going to bring it over to my machine and put a stitch or two down. And I'm putting this about um, a half an inch down from the, the mark. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to snip these threads. These are not the best scissors. For... <laughs> and then I'm going to bring this bottom part to the two white lines. And I'm going to just take a couple of clips. These are um, hair clips from Lauren Warmina. I love her these clips for projects like this that can hold things flat for me. So I'm going to sew down this going back, going from the bottom to the top, back stitching at both ends. And make sure to stay at the marks that are that is given, provided in the pattern, and everything will work out. It's one eighth of an inch. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Bring this over, one eighth of an inch, back stitch well, the beginning and the end. And just be cognizant of your hardware. Now, I gave you where you can hand dye, like pencil it in. You can also, if you want, put a false set of stitches right here. Um, like you can go from here to here and I'll show you, I'll do it. I'm going to start where my, be careful because that magnet though, woo. Okay, I'm going to start where this, my stitches left off and I'm going to back stitch one. I'm just going to go around it real quick. And the, even though the HTV is not going to move because it's HTV and I adhere, I adhered it ahead of time. You just want to be a little cognizant with the magnets. All right. Ooh, those magnets are strong. They did not want to give up off that. <laughs> So you have your little false set of stitches. 
and now you have the perfect thank you gift you can put your name tag you can if you do this with cork you can um put designs uh your logo everything this is a cute little bag on the go so i like to uh, put a clip these little clips but you could put a d-ring you could put a o-ring splitter whatever you have available and these are even perfect for right now for back to school so that your kid can have a little bit of money in their pocket and connect it to their bag they it would be nice to give as a gift to teachers like a starbucks card like thank you for teaching we we support you here you go and they can have it and or this would be great for walking the dog and you want to be like me and you see the ice cream guy and you're like dude i have cash please come over here <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial i'll have the link in the um in the description section on where you can download this pattern you also there's a really good deal right now that uh georgia girl stitch is now actually cutting out pieces of leather so if you want to play around and experiment with some leather getting this pattern and the leather would be nice as well as she has templates she yes she does have a plastic acrylic templates for this and like i said they're very fast fun easy gift to give and easy gift to make and a thank you gift as well so i will put everything linked down below and if you absolutely love this video and you're like Shinova you keep on bringing like some amazing content I want to buy you a coffee I'll put my Kofi information down below as well I hope everyone has a nice day and I'll talk to you later happy sewing